Looking for it until I realized that I had sold it years ago. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Select Action figure review on the Disney Store exclusive Iron Man Hulk Buster. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it at your local Disney Store at MarvelShop.com, or you can get it at Big, Big, Big. big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Pretty plain packaging over here, but interesting that we have an Iron Man facing off the Hulk Buster. I think that's kind of interesting and then we get the Hulk Buster again on the side you can see some Hulk fingers right over there and then on the back you can see a Hulk Buster and this sticker all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's Hulk Buster out of the packaging and Marvel Select has done a fantastic job with this piece this is a very cool Hulk Buster figure just the way it was displayed in the packaging made me think that it wasn't going to be as poseable as it actually is but there's a lot of articulation over here the paint job is amazing it doesn't come with any accessories or anything else but but I think it's okay. I mean, we're getting a really good looking Hulkbuster. So this is a very difficult figure to shoot because this red paint is so metallic and so shiny. We got hot spots all over here from my lights. I mean, I, and I think that's great. I'm very, very happy with that. Having an Iron Man figure with very shiny red paint is not a bad thing. And I think this is just looking really cool the way it was sculpted as well. I, I just really dig this piece. Now this head is a little on the softer side and I'm gonna talk about the articulation a little bit more and I just scratched the forehead head right now damn it but you're supposed to like squeeze and turn this side to side and it's a very stiff joint but it does rotate over here and I was hoping I could demonstrate that right now but it's just not working well for me so I'm probably gonna have to use a hairdryer to turn that head side to side again but going back to the paint sculpt we have all these little bolts sculpted around all over the place on this guy we get some nice silver paint applications right over here it gets a little bit of bleeding right there but for the most part it's been very clean get this beige gold color so this is definitely the comic design we get that honeycomb look once again right over there that's gotten actually kind of loose. And I just really like this flat gold. It does look really good. And again, bolts all over the place. It's just a very good look. And these shins look really awesome over here too. We get the Hulkbuster toes, nice silver paint apps. We even get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. You get some thrusters right there. I love that they didn't go cheap with the back of the figure. You get some really nice silver pistons right above those heels. There's a Hulkbuster butt. There's a spine. Some nice silver paint apps. Again, some really cool pistons right there on the back of the arms. All the details sculpted on this guy just look great. I love those valves right there up at the top. That's really awesome. Now, my one little gripe is about this is that I almost wish he had two fists, but at the same time, I understand why they went with the repulsor blast right here with this hand, which doesn't look bad at all or anything. And we don't get articulated fingers, so you're stuck with that one pose for this hand. And then we do get the fist right over here. So they both look good, but I don't know. I just like more posing options, I guess. And I think they did a really good job with the plastic choice for these joints. It's definitely different than the rest of the metallic look, but it doesn't stand out terribly bad. And I do want to mention, too, that I do have some, like, bubbling or something going on right here with this bicep. I think that's from it just being a little overheated. I had boiled a figure once to try to remove a part, and it ended up looking like that for me overboiling it. So I think that's what happened right here on this right arm. And we don't get anything that opens up over here to reveal a Tony Stark or anything like that. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. I turned the head. So there... Yeah, so you can see it rotates. It, it gets a little tricky. I feel like I'm kind of scraping my finger on the edge of this piece right here as I try to turn it. So it is hard to move, but it does work. And he has articulated shoulder pads over here too. So they're on ball joints. This one pops off on me a lot, but they rotate forward and back and you can move them up and down. So it doesn't hinder articulation right here on the shoulders. And the shoulders themselves are on ball joints that move outward that much. You can move them down pretty far. You can move them forward. You get a bicep swivel. You get a single jointed elbow right here that has a really thick joint. Let's see, yep, there it goes. So it bends at 90 degrees. You also get elbow rotation. Hi. And then you also get wrist swivel over here. It's on a ball joint, so it hinges up and down and rotates all the way around. You get a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side. You get diaphragm pivot. He crunches forward and back some, which is really good. No waist joint, but that's okay. Uh, his hip joints move out very, very far. Get him to kick forward a reasonable amount. More than expected, really. That's pretty good. It can move back only a tiny bit, though. Thigh swivel up here. One joint right there at the knee. You also get rotation at the knee. Then the ankle moves down some, you can move up a little bit, and you do get ankle pivot! So for a Marvel Select figure, I think this guy's a little on the short side. He's standing at about eight and a half inches tall. And here's our Marvel Select Hulkbuster compared to the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster over here. And you could obviously 
obviously see the size difference between these two, so it's not looking too bad. And if you want to see a review on the Age of Ultron movie Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster from Marvel Legends, check out JC's channel. I should have a link in the description below or annotation somewhere. And from what I understand, that figure is supposed to be actually a whole inch taller than this select figure. And here's select Hulkbuster compared to the first Marvel Select Hulk figure, and this Hulk is way taller than this guy. I mean, this Hulkbuster is not busting anything over here, man. And here's Hulkbuster compared to the Unleashed Hulk from Marvel Select, and this Hulk is still standing quite a bit taller than this figure. And then putting the Marvel Legends face-off Hulk next to this select Hulkbuster, I think this looks best. I really like this a lot. Their height difference is very minimal. They're about the same size, so I think this works out pretty well. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So once again, I think Diamond Select Toys has done a fantastic job on this piece. It's just a really fun figure to pose around. Oh, I guess minus this head sculpt right over here. Wish they had a knob or something right there on the back to make it easier, to, you know, to swivel, you know, because as soon as my hand gets sweaty, it just makes it very difficult. But other than that, this is an awesome piece. I highly recommend it. Only 25 bucks, so it's cheaper than the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster, and it fits into Marvel Legends scale. Anyway, hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please click one of these buttons over here for more shart in your face. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and don't forget to go to Marvelous News com for a photo gallery of images from this review and stay tuned for tomorrow we got the Marvel Legends Collector Dr. Battery Part 4 all right I'll catch you guys later peace that's crispy then my favorite figure to face off oh <laughs>